fourth grade. Today I'm going to make a video for problem set 11. This is going to be adding multi-digit numbers using place value. And you can see I have started with 1a and the directions for number one say solve the addition problems using the standard algorithm. And you can see that I have already started. So when I go to add stacked numbers, I always want to start in the ones place and then make my way over one place to the left. So I am already starting. I'm thinking one plus eight is nine. Then I want to move to the tens place. One plus six is seven. Three plus two is five. And then six plus zero is six. So I want to go ahead and double check and make sure that I'm going to get the same answer again. One plus eight is nine. One plus six is seven. Three plus two is five. And six plus zero is six. So let's go ahead and move our paper down here. And let's add this one with really big numbers. So you can see I've been thinking about this problem and I always want to start in the ones place. One plus five is six. Then move to the left. One plus four is five. Eight plus four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I had to bundle this 10 right here and move it to the left because it was too big to keep in the hundreds place. So now I have one plus four plus six. One plus four plus six. What would that be? 11, hope you were thinking that too. One plus four plus five. Well, that's going to be 10. One plus five plus three. Remember, you wanna go ahead and double check to make sure you get the same answer, okay? Then, let's come down here. So, these numbers are actually not stacked. So when I go to solve using the standard algorithm, I'm actually going to stack them myself this time. So I'm gonna write 527, and then when I write the second number, I'm going to start in the ones place and make sure I get all of my numbers stacked correctly. Then I'm going to add seven plus five is Then I'm going to move to the tens place. Seven plus two plus one. Then I'm going to move to the hundreds place. One plus five plus two. But I'm not done yet. So now I need to add in my third number. Make sure that I have the ones place lined up the tens place lined up and the hundreds place lined up. Okay, you're going to want to double check to make sure you get the same answer. On the back, we have tape diagrams. Draw a tape diagram to represent each problem. Use numbers to solve and write your answer as a statement. So it says, in September, Liberty Elementary School collected 32,537 cans for fundraiser. In October, they collected 207,492 cans. How many cans were collected during September and October? So this is going to be how many cans were collected in September 
this is going to be how many cans were collected in December, nope, October. So this is October's number. So what am I going to do? Well, I need to figure out how many cans were collected in September and October. So I'm going to start by stacking these two numbers. I'm actually gonna put my larger number on top. And then I'm gonna make sure that I have my ones place, my tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place. And then I'm going to add. my comma in. Okay, go ahead and try the rest all by yourself.